Hey, do you suffer from arthritis in your thumb? I've got a self-mobilization, basically a way to stretch and loosen your stiff arthritic thumb joint so that you can get that mobility back in your thumb to be able to grab things, simple things like eat, grab a bottle of water, grab your cup of coffee, be able to do work around the house and feel a little looser in your thumb joint. Doing this mobilization each day, a few times a day, can make a massive difference in your thumb arthritis. My name is Dr. David Midoff, and I'm a specialist physical therapist here at El Paso Manual Physical Therapy, where we specialize in helping people avoid surgery, injections, and pain medications. Please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of the helpful videos that we put out every single week. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you my hand here. I've drawn some of the bones in my thumb and in my the beginning of the first finger and this is designed to mirror the actual skeleton so just so you can kind of see both at the same time right there there's this long bone and then you have three bones so one two three one two three and then you've got these little wrist bones the carpal bones i've drawn three right here and I know I'm not the best artist in two scale, but I, I, I did this for a reason so that you can see where you're gonna move your thumb joint specifically. And then you've got this bone right here that I drew, and of course there's some other knuckle bones up here. But all you're gonna be doing in your thumb is grabbing, this is the most common joint right here, it's called the CMC, the carpal metacarpal joint of the thumb. Grabbing this joint and pulling it apart and wiggling it, to free up the the joint right there that's the most common part to get that's the most common joint where thumb arthritis happens now it could happen in the joint right next door right here even in the wrist or you might have it in this joint which is the same as this joint right here you're going to use the same technique to move them all i'm going to show it all to you right now so on your own hand and you can do this on either side but i'm just going to show you my right hand on my left hand your where the joint line is and the way that you can tell the joint line if you just rub the area you start to feel some bumps where it's bumpy that's where you've got joints so that's the joint line you're just going to grab so so you can see my grab here i'm i'm putting my thumb on the meat of my of my the base of my thumb right here my other thumb and then i'm going to grab with this part of my hand the the long bone right here you're grabbing that long bone as close to the joint line as possible you see the line and then you're going to pull and you got to keep your hands close to your body right here. And then you're just going to pull and you got to pull kind of hard. As long as it doesn't hurt, you're okay. You should feel a stretch. You're literally stretching that joint out. And then what you want to do is wiggle it. I'm wiggling it like this, not like this, not moving my whole hand and arm, just my wrist is going to wiggle. So pull all the way, then wiggle my wrist up and down. You can go wiggle the wrist this way, this way like that and just do this for about a minute or so and golly if you have thumb arthritis this feels amazing to do this and if you think that it's that you're missing the joint then just grab a little further up and you'll get the next joint and you can wiggle that as well and if you think it's more this joint that you've got problems with then grab that bone same idea as close to the line as possible and pull that apart and just wiggle it and you're in control here, so you figure out what's best for you as far as force. Don't do anything that hurts. It should all feel pretty good when you're doing it. It should not aggravate the uh, the thumb joint in any way. In fact, once you're done, you should feel like you can move a bit easier in your hand and it should feel freer. You don't need to spend more than five minutes doing this, but ideally if you can do this several times a day, two, three, four, or five times a day, um, you'll get to the point where you can do where you can do too much, and I, I've only seen people reach that a handful of times. No pun intended. Um, but um, if you can do this like right before meals, say morning, noon, and night, morning, noon, and evening, something like that, then you can begin to accumulate more mobility over time and wake up feeling better and looser in your thumb joint. Let me show you again one more time, just so that you can check this out. So you're grabbing the bone right there and then wiggling your wrist, just like so. Move up a joint this way if you feel like you need to go that way. You can move them all, I would recommend that. Grab this one, you can even do this one the same way. If you need to grab this bone, you can as well. It's a little harder to move that one, something popped in my hand. And move this one as well if that's part of the problem. 
and you just switch to the other side. See, I don't have any lines drawn on this one, but there's the bump right there. I could feel it flat, hard bone, and then there's a drop off. That's where the, the joint line is. That's the same as this right here. So I'm just gonna grab as close as I can to it and move it. And now don't feel bad if you don't feel like you're, if you're, it, I, don't think, don't overthink it. If you don't feel like you're right on the right spot, just pull and wiggle and you're still going to benefit. The, ideally, the closer you are to the joint, you can just reposition your hand, the better. Just reposition and get as close as you can. But don't feel bad if you're not right on it. You, it, When I teach people this, they overthink and they're like, well, am I here or here? Am I am I over too far this way? Am I which? How do I do it right? And I tell them all of it. Just grab and pull, wiggle it. You're good. You're gonna make the joint looser. And the the big thing with this is that you're doing this repeatedly over time, and you'll feel it. Even if you aren't exactly in the joint line, you'll feel looser. You you would remove the soft tissue, which also helps to free up the joint. And as you continue to practice getting on the right joint line, you're gonna make this better and better each time you do this. Hey, I hope this video was helpful. Give us a thumbs up if you thought that it was and subscribe to our channel so that you can get all the health tips that we put out every single week. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.